On this video, I'm going to show you how you can add additional chords to RetroArch on Steam. As an example for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the PlayStation 2 core thanks to one of you guys that commented me that they have problems to install it into RetroArch from Steam. And now, before we start, guys, don't forget to drop a like into the video and to subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Let's start. The only way to do this where you have to download the standalone version of RetroArch and the standalone version of the emulator itself, it doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to show you a new way that is way faster and is 100% working right now. Go to the description down below and inside of there, there are going to be two links that you need to download. One of them is the core and the other one is the info file. Now, these files come from Libretto itself, so they are completely fine to download. Another thing that you are going to need to have is the BIOS file from the PlayStation 2. Now, you are going to need to dump it yourself from your original PlayStation 2. And if you don't know, guys, what a PlayStation 2 BIOS is, here is a website where you can see it and all the explication about what the BIOS is. Now that you have everything downloaded, you want to extract those files. So right click into them and select into Extract All. Once you have done that, you want to open Steam in your library, go where you see RetroArch on the left side, right click into it, go into Manage, Browse Local Files. Now, on the Steam RetroArch folder, you are going to see one folder called Cores. Open it, and now go into the PCSX2 DLL folder that we just extracted, take this core file right here, and move it to the RetroArch folder. Now you want to go back, and inside of the RetroArch folder, once more, one folder called Info. Click on it, and open as well the Info folder that we just downloaded. Scroll down until you find the file for the emulator itself. And here it is, pcs62libretto.info. Take that file and move it into that folder. If you already have a file named the same, what you want to do is to replace the file in the destination. And the last thing that you want to do into the RetroArch folder is to scroll down until you find the system folder. Double click into it and you want to right click, create new folder, and this you want to call it pcsx2. Now open that folder and right here create a new folder and call that BIOS. Be sure that you write both names exactly as you see them on this video, because if not, it's not going to work. Now open your BIOS folder, and on this folder you want to set up the BIOS file that you dump it from your PlayStation 2. Once you have those files there, you want to close the folders. Now you can go inside of RetroArch from Steam. Now inside of here you want to click into Load Core, scroll down, and here you're going to see the PlayStation 2 Core. And from there, you can go into Load Content and search for the rooms that you want to play. Now, into Suggested Cores, don't forget to choose the one that we just installed, it, that is the Sony PlayStation 2 one. And now, as you can see, you can run your PlayStation 2 games inside of RetroArch for Steam. That is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed and you found it useful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. See you guys on the next time. Bye-bye.